Hi, I'm Melanie Nix from WorldWideDanceUK.com and we're here at New Jersey Performing Arts Centre before an Alvin Ailey American Dance Theatre performance talking to dancer Duana Adeha Smallwood. Hi Duana. Duana, the, the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theatre is one of the biggest companies in America. What does it feel like to be a part of that heritage? Actually, it's a really amazing. Um, I've dreamed about being in this company for since I was a child and I wanted to be near my mentor Judith Jamison and to think of all the things that they've accomplished and to now see that my name is going to be on the paper um, when they talk about the company from years um, years from now um, it's quite amazing, it really is. Tawana, what, what to you are the best and worst elements to being a dancer? Um, the best parts is the travel um, the Another best part is the parts where you touch somebody that knew nothing of dance and they come to you and it's just like, oh my God, you know, and it inspires them to go into their lives and do whatever they want to do, whether it be dance or anything. Um, the worst part is being away from your families, being away from your husbands. Um, the more work we get, the better we get, the more we travel. <laughs> so it's, it's sort of like a win-win, lose-win, lose-lose <laughs> situation. You must have the opportunity to work with many different choreographers within um, the repertoire of the company. How do the approaches of those choreographers differ and what to you is your preferred way of working? Some choreographers will come in already with uh, their music, their pieces, um, choreographed years ago and they will come in and just set it on us. And then some choreographers will come in with just an idea and perhaps maybe music, just an idea of music, and they will use us and to investigate, you know, the movement that they, their movement vocabulary. I think, I don't know, I like a little of both because it allows you to um, do pieces that you love seeing and wish you could have a chance to do. And then it also, um, the other, on the other hand, it um, also gets you to do fresh things that are like new and inventive and you were the first one who stepped into this piece and whoever now comes into it has to live up to what you did. What's going to be the, the most exciting piece for you to be performing in the UK? Actually my favorite piece is Revelations. Um, that may sound a little corny but Revelations no matter how many times you do it and we do it a lot um, it just brings something out of you. It allows you to grow. Um, it feels like second skin. It's, it's not I don't know. Dance is a language, and Revelations is truly a language I understand. It's everyone can understand it, and you're able to communicate with the movement, and you really get a sense of Alvin Ailey and what type of man he was when you get to dance that piece. Um, I feel doubly blessed because no one else can dance it. You can only dance Revelations if you're in this company, and that makes me feel like. I'm just walking around with, you know, diamonds on, you know, it's a really um, a wonderful piece. Do you have to be spiritual um, or, or religious in order to be able to understand the, the meaning of it? Do you, um, um, James was I don't want to say, well, maybe not to understand that. I guess you have to be human and it asks questions of you and of your spirit and of your soul and it allows you to go into your own religion and, and see clearly, you know, um, the balances between, you know, what what is and what we've made up. Your revelations is quite a spiritual piece for me. It is. Duana, you've been with the company for ten years now. I think you must be one of the older members of the company, if not in age. I mean, no, in experience. No. I'm one of the older um, members in age, and I feel wonderful about that because without this, I w without this age, I would not be able to dance the way I dance. Um, being a young dancer, um, it is one fun and vivace, I'm vivacious and I have all this energy and now I'm still having fun and I'm vivacious I have all this energy but now I choose where I want to put it and I choose when I want to use it how I want to share it and I make a lot of decisions as to how where my arm will be and how I will tease the audience and I'm more in control and that's a wonderful thing being one of the older members but um, it doesn't feel like 10 years for some reason it feels like six-ish. I'm stuck on the five-six area and that's a good thing because once it's like to get stale I'll really just be like okay I gotta go you know so. And what advice would you give to a young dancer starting out for instance you're holding auditions on Monday one of those dancers the first day they walk into to the studio what might be your gems of wisdom that you could pass on? Allow none of the challenges allow none of the the hype 
none of the um, <laughs> the self criticisms allow those things to not um, steal away your spirit and your magic and your pleasure to just basically dance because in the end all of us started out with just I just want to dance sometimes I really just want to go into the studio just turn just press play let me dance I don't really want to hear corrections I don't want to hear notes I want to I literally just want to dance and that's the bottom line and if you remember that and allow nothing to steal away your spirit then you will have a successful time here okay we all like a bit of pampering and indulgence at times and uh, especially if we've had a long day's work and I imagine that you probably work pretty hard what would you say is your treat what's the best you know to treat actually yourself? I love Epsom salt baths <laughs> I love ginger baths you know like fresh ginger you just cut it up in chunks and throw it in the hottest water and you just get in and soak for like 15 minutes and you get out and you sleep so well and you wake up and your muscles are so relaxed um, I love to, I'm a pamper girl, I love facials and all of that stuff and massages, my husband is very good, I'd rather have him massage me than any masseuse because I don't know for some reason he knows where that knot is that I've been complaining about every day and um, but I also like to do a lot of maintenance so I don't, um, like injury prevention so I don't have to do so much, you know, healing and stuff like that, so I do a lot of Bikram, I'm a gym buff. Um, I've been swimming a little, but I'm a, I'm a gym buff. I'm a, I love the jump rope, and I just love Bikram yoga. I don't know if they have that in, in Europe, but it's yoga in like a 100-degree um, room. So it's sort of like you're in a sauna. Okay, and yeah. what it does is just cleanse your body, not just your skin and your pores, but your organs and all the, with the positions that you're in. And then it just refreshes you and gets you ready for the next day. Thanks so much for spending some time with us, Joanna, and we can't wait to see you when you arrive in the UK. Thank you. It was my pleasure. Thank you very much.